Rich, you busy? Well, Rob, what are you doing in my- Hey, I have a question. I'm a customer. Shoot. Do we have any sensors that can detect people? We do. We make two types of sensors that can do that, actually. We have the PIR sensors and the grid eye. What exactly are they trying to accomplish? Well, we want to see if there's any people in a room. Well, that would be a great application for Panasonic's PIR sensors. It's a motion detection passive infrared sensor with multiple lens options, and anytime anyone's moving around in a room, it'll detect them and send an output. Well, will they be able to see where they are in the room? No, Rob. For that type of application, you would need Panasonic's grid eye. But what's the difference between GridEye and PIR? Well, that's a good question, Rob. GridEye is an 8x8 thermopile array, and it's used to detect heat sources within its field of view. So it, they don't have to be moving. It can detect people, pets, other heat sources from the heating vents, possibly. And it's perfect for people counting, people tracking, that type of application. Is that it? Not at all, Rob. The GridEye can also be used in applications such as thermal mapping, robotics, digital signage. In fact, the applications are only limited by the engineer's imagination. Can it be used in place of a PIR sensor? No, not really. The PIRs are perfect for when simple occupancy detection is required. They have many lenses with different fields of view for different sized rooms, and we have very, very low power consumption down to one microamp, so it's perfect for battery-operated applications. Looks like Panasonic has IR sensing covered between the grid eye and PIR sensor. Boom, son, we sure do. In fact, I'm sensing right now that you should be getting out of my chair. Oh, look at the time. Hey, my coffee. Darn it.